Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with Fishing Planet, and guys, we are here at Blue Crab Island. Now, I did attempt to see if I could set things up so that I could try to go after the Northern Snakeheads. Uh, one of my subscribers, viewers, had commented that you should have to just equip the uh, Golden Horseshoe, which I did do. And I went to several locations, but I haven't had any luck whatsoever in catching the northern snakeheads. They are just not biting off of any of the lures that they're supposed to. So I don't know that you have to have that mission initiated, and that's the only time they can be caught. According to that viewer, he was able to do it, but I can't get it to happen for some reason or another. But one of my other viewers had suggested that I come here because if you fish off the dock, he said that the event fish practically that's all you get. And I did go ahead and set up a premium account just so that I could, at least for a short period of time, get two bait coins per event fish. But this is where we need to do, do some serious grinding if we can. You can get. Uh, you can get premium for 99 cents for a day, and it might behoove you if you have the time to do it once, because this is the way to get the bait coins, the best way that I know possible. Now, we're going to come out here on the dock. There's a couple of docks here. Not sure which one's going to be the better of the two. Actually, we could even do it over there as well. Might be worthwhile checking to see if we can find some egg, maybe a silver pot or something like that around here. And what can you get here? Oh, the leprechaun's chest. If you have 69 coins. I'm not seeing any pot of gold. I'm going to look around real quick. If I find it, I'll let you know. But it's it may be... Not, they may not have one here. Who knows? Ah! Guess what? Go to the map. And come over here to the bass base. And here's the pot of gold. Let's see what the heck is in here. We got clover coin. Now, actually, this might be a great place to check since they did say the dock. They didn't say which dock. <laughs> well, we'll try it here for a little while and see how it turns out. Definitely need to do some grinding. And I should have enough of the baits to make it worth my while. I think I've got a club member over here somewhere. I've got I see a name tag over there. And he didn't say which dock, just the, at the dock. I meant the main one, but we'll try our luck here for a little while and see what turns out. All right, we're definitely getting a bite here, so. This is probably an event fish. You had to repair these as well. We have got us. We might have us a buzzman here, guys. Yeah, I think we do. 
think we might have us a buzzman. Awesome. So they are found here. And there we go. Two bait coins. That's why we want that. Even though it's a short premium, that's going to make all the difference. Now we're getting double. But yeah, I am not getting the snake heads at all. But we are definitely getting the others. This is probably Leprechaun. Two bay coins for him. And I did discover while I was trying to catch these guys that the event fish will go for these lures. I caught a rowdy bass off of the clover coin the clover spoon. At Mud River. That was not easy to catch. I had it on a 13 pound rod. And he weighed. I think over 22 pounds. <laughs> that was one heck of a fight. Pound for pound. Cash for cash. We're probably better off not getting the really big fish. Because since we got the golden horseshoe, it's not going to hold as much. But if I get it filled and I get through the day, I might end up having to go back and pick up the keep net. Because if I'm not going to catch these northern snakeheads, there's no reason to have the golden horseshoe. I just thought I'd give it one more chance. That's all we can do, just give it one more chance. Ooh. Well, something went for it, but... Oh, heck. I don't want to lose this, because that's bait coins that I need, and I think it's another buzzman. Yeah, we are not in a peak right now with the rain. It means we're going to get just the event fish here. See, that's six right off the bat. Would have had to catch six fish, not three. I'm not so sure we're going to have time to do that, though. Okay, let's see what we got here. This is either Leprechaun or Rowdy Bass. I think it's Leprechaun. Yep. So I, I don't think it matters which dock it is. Seems like we're doing pretty good. No matter where we are. Come on. Gotta make sure he... Yeah, he's got it. Oh, wow. Buzzman. Buzzman. I think it might actually be something... Nope, it's a Rowdy Bass. Rowdy Bass. 24-pounder, too. I'm getting you. Okay, this is the first non-species... Or non event species. Let's see what it is here. A trophy bluegill. <laughs> Yeehaw! Whole 68 cash. Ugh. What a waste of a darn worm. I mean, I like bluegill, but I'm pretty sure we have caught them here before. Yeah, shoot. Gotta get that guy in. I think it's another rowdy.
It is. So all three of them are found here. Yeah. Well, unfortunately, not. Oh, what happened? I'm not sure. It's weird. Acted like I was out of bait. Okay, I'm not sure about what this one might be. I think it's a... I guess a rowdy bass. 27 pounds. So they're bigger than the buzzmans. Yeah, I think this... This is definitely going to be a great grind here, guys. Plenty of rowdy bass, plenty of leprechaun fish, plenty of buzzman bass, and beakweez. We are raking in the bait coins. Now, uh, if we could only find the pot of silver, we might be able to get some more free bait. Otherwise, we're going to have to purchase it, unfortunately. We'll have to see. One of my viewers said that he spent all day working on this and managed to get in a thousand bait coins. I don't know if he did that one bait coin at a time or not. There we go. Yeah, when it's that hard to get them in, most of the time, it's a Tambique. The Rowdy Bass definitely put up a good fight, too. No, it's a Tambique, though. Where would be a good place to cast this? Be over here. I cannot stop here. <laughs> he was right. They are all over the place. Another Tembique. That's a 21 pounder. That's a good size. I think this is a rowdy bass. Yeah, we have got one non-event species. That's it. 
And that is almost never happens. Definitely a great hot spot here, guys. Actually, I think the whole map is the hot spot. As long as you're on the dock somewhere. But we are filling that golden horseshoe stringer fast. He's a 26 pounder. Yeah, that's the only thing I'm going to end up having to go back. Which kind of sucks, but it is what it is, fortunately. Jeez. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, there's not enough time. Just too many. Leprechaun. I would think either this has got to be a buzzman and bakery. Well, no, it's a brownie bass. It must be a heavy one. Hey, I'm hit space. There we go. Nice, he's just 24. He's not that big. Okay, there's another one. Every rod got something. Literally, every rod. Leprechaun fish. Okay, this is not an event species. Guess another bluegill? <laughs> no, brown bullhead. That's only two, those guys. Out of all of that, only two. Everything else were event fish. Check it out. And let's see, one, two, three, seven. Rowdy bass. Four leprechaun fish and four buzzman tambiquis. A total of 32 bait coins. That is not bad. Not bad on your return, that's for darn sure. That was 16 event fish in just that short period of time. You can definitely see the benefits of coming here without a doubt. Thinking leprechaun. Nope, rowdy bass. Twenty seven pounds. Wow, that's a good size rowdy bass. This is amazing, guys. This is unbelievably amazing. Here we go. Buzzman, that time it is.
This, I think, is a rowdy bass. Yep. Eh. Enough. Another rowdy bass. this. I am maxed out already. Seriously, already I'm maxed out. So I can only get the XP from this guy. I can't get anything else. They're not going to let me keep it. I got it. Yeah, it is time to upgrade our keeping it, but 42 bait coins. Build that up so seriously fast. Well, we're going to have to leave. Do not have much choice. But we weren't getting anything as far as more than snakeheads. Golden Horseshoe Stringer did not help. Which is kind of sad to say. Really wanted to see what we could get from them if possible. Alright, let's see here. Well, we're going to go back to inventory. And we're going to put in our big old keep net. The one I just repaired. That should make all the difference. Yeah, we're up to 182. I had to spend a little bit because my storage was getting low again. <laughs> unfortunately. And I had to fix a couple other items that required bay coins. Because some repairs have to be made with bay coins, believe it or not. So... What we're going to do is we're going to see if we have anything in our storage here. If we have any of our event baits. I don't think so. But we could put in here the equivalents see if they bite off of that. I doubt it, but they might. <laughs> Worth a try. Yeah, that's another test I wanted to do. So, regular grasshoppers, I think I actually have them in here. No, I do not. have lots of those and I think the closest equivalent to those might be the night crawlers we have 182 of those I'm gonna throw these seed worms in there too we'll just see if maybe they go for those as well Now, when we come in here, I'm going to go to the regular boat dock this time. 
and I'm gonna see how the event fish fishing is here. It's still raining, holy cracks. Crackies. Doing nothing but rain. Alright, let's see here. Looks like as good a place as any. Now, we can now store twice as much, so theoretically, we could get almost a hundred bay coins per day like this. Holy crap. Already? Yep, already. Rowdy Bass. Got that coming in. Thinking we either have a really large Rowdy Bass or a Buzzman. Rowdy Bass. Jeez. I can't get over this. He's, it's even better here than it was at the other one. Yeah, this one's a pretty heavy rowdy. But I think I might eh, get a little bit bigger than that. Is we are down to 17 holy grasshoppers and I think 20 drunken worms. Up oh, 25. So we are going to have to test some of the other baits. There I am with my little leprechaun hat. Ah. Well, the strike timed out. Let me make sure that it's still got bait. If it doesn't, I'm going to re Shoot, it doesn't. I am going to put Nightcrawler on there. Or Sea Worm. Let's try Nightcrawler, because I think they're going to be the closest equivalent. And we'll 
we'll see if they still bite. First, I gotta get this one. I'm gonna have another timed out session session here. Leprechaun, maybe? Yeah. Let's switch this with regular grasshoppers. We'll see if anything goes for those. If they do, that is going to make all the difference in the world. These don't cost bait coins, nor do they have to be found. That'd be nice. I think I might try the clover coin over here. I don't know anything would go for it, but... I know the popper... Popper pint will definitely get some action. If it was the peak time. Okay, that's got an event bait on it, so that doesn't prove anything yet. Buzzman? Okay, we're getting multiple bites, and we're getting them on the non-event baits. So, this is Nightcrawlers, and we we might actually have something here, guys. Yes! It worked. That was my experiment. Succeeded. Now, this is... This is a bully grasshopper, so this doesn't show anything yet. Well, that is so awesome that it were a night crawler got the one. I don't think they bite quite as often, but they are biting off of them. I think this place is just such a hot spot that it doesn't seem to matter if we hit it with enough of them. Even after we run out of the events, we should be still successful. That's the theory, anyway. Alright, got us another one here. Let's see, I think... Nope, this is on an event. Event bait? What is going on with this stupid fish? <laughs> okay, there we go. Leprechaun. <sighs> yeah, I thought I would try the sea worms with the float rod. I'm not gotten any bites off of it yet, but then we are not exactly at a peak period, so might not get any bites. 
might not be an equivalent anyway. Okay, these are both event dates. Yeah, you don't get them as much with the regular baits, but at least we know we are going to get them. So when we run out, we're going to just have to be a little more patient. Little Epicon. Yeah, I don't think anything's going to bite off that, guys. Doesn't look like it's going to get garnering attention. We did get something to try to go after this, but... I'm going to try the... I'm going to try the regular grasshoppers. Some of these other ones and see if that helps. We got something bite it. Holy crap. Okay, this is not an event fish. You have got to be kidding me. Northern Snakehead. <laughs> and I do not have the golden horseshoe. I got one, guys. I don't know what I did differently. I do not know what I did differently, but I got one. And I got it with a stout walker. I have tried every lure in three different locations, four different locations actually. I didn't get a good look at what I got for him. I actually got cash for him, so I did not get bait coins. And that one I got with a nightcrawler. That is pretty darn cool. I got it right over there. I wish I had time to have gotten a picture with him. There we go. I think we got us another one, guys. Yeah, I thought maybe we got something, you know, native to this location. First time we got one of these guys, but this looks like a big, big dude. Yep, it is another northern snakehead. 
There it is, 24 pounder. Let me get a picture of it this time. We got one. You can catch them, and you do not need the Golden Horseshoe Stringer. That much was just proven. Awesome. Seriously awesome. That's two of them. I got that off the Stout Walker. I think I caught them here with the Stout Walker in the past, too. I thought certain lures had to be used in certain locations. I don't know if that's the case, honestly, but... I think that the Lucky Swim Bait would be more effective here, too. As would the pint popper. This is going to get a little more casting distance. Yeah, we're not getting nearly the bites off of the non event baits, but they do bite on them. I'm going to kind of take this opportunity to see if I can test some of these other lures. Uh, you know, I understand that we are way, way into this episode, but I hope you enjoyed that, guys, because we definitely were able to prove something. Sometimes you just have to test a few things. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. I will be back with another episode of Fishing Planet. So until then, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.